Welcome back YouTube to UK. Another video, another haul. Following on from last week, which I could not remember what even happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's not hot. Jeez, it's been fucking roasting. Been roasting here in the UK. You can hear the rain, maybe. I'll turn this down, you can hear the rain. There you go. Uh, this is Wipeout 3, special edition. And you can tell that the, it's the music. A bit of unusual, probably a first. Probably first for this channel. I'm recording sort of late afternoon after work. It is the 18th of June, the year of the Lord 2021. Um, yeah, 5 to 4, England playing Scotland tonight for reference because this will be like probably months afterwards. Um, but yeah, it, it's been anyone that would know the, from the UK the last sort of week and a bit been absolutely fucking roast. Like, in here, I mean, you've seen it like the last bit, it was you know, like 40 plus, or whatever. But after that, in that week, following even with the door open, it was, it was getting I mean, my lap, work laptop shut down just overheated so yeah it's um it, it's probably not healthy let's be honest mm. great news well maybe for me but maybe you don't give two shit um planning permission has been approved and the mortgage has now been approved so hopefully we just need to try and get the builder to agree a date um and yeah then the stress starts of uh, trying to find so to store all this which I'm not going to go on too much of bleed on about that enough I'm sure people are sick to death of hearing it but uh, yeah we're in the final throws now it's just obviously getting the builder to agree uh, a date to do it and obviously what we don't want is to be doing it in the winter and stuff like that you know, we want gaping holes in the house so yeah it, it's um uh, we'll see but uh, other than that we did some booting fob fob and myself we did some booting did, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I suppose, okay, pure CX trade fodder, some of which um, will make an appearance in here at some point, no doubt. Not much, but a few bits, you know, and I've still got some of the credit left, so I did all right, you know. Nothing, no retro, nothing to keep. Mm -mm. Just double check it now, there's nothing to keep. It was all like Xbox One games. Um, come on, what else I've got? What's some out? Oh, I can't think. Some else to sell anyway, but it was for, in terms of like gaming, like it was just Xbox One and oh, some Wii and some um, PS2, but they're just duplicate games. They're just it was just cheap enough to get them. That's all. Again, I'm not going to bore you to death with them. It, it's, it's nothing you want to see. Uh, but I've got. I mean, this is going to be Nintendo heavy again. Um, pretty much like I don't know. I did a couple a while back. Still on a massive Super Nintendo kick. I just can't seem to get enough. I don't know. It's going back to the roots. Going back to you know. Where the, not where gaming really started for me, but where I really got engrossed and into the actual system, you know, the Super Nintendo, Super Play, and that whole thing, which I've talked about before in the past, anyway. Um, but I've got some of the weird and wonderful bits that got, um, I don't know, just a, a, a gift off that me and Rob and mate Fob just, you know, if I got something he wants that I don't need and stuff, I just give it him and vice versa. Um, so a couple of things from that, hang on, what am I doing? I think there's some outs in here. Oh yeah, that was it, right, okay. I know I'd put some outs in here. So, off of me make fob, um, I think I showed this in the last vid. I haven't even looked at the footage yet, I've not even got round to it. I think I did, um, but it's a Super Famicom tray and that's to go with, um, Rock and Roll Racing or RPM Radical Psycho Machine. So that's the tray. I hope I showed this. This this does need a. I think if this got an iron, again I can't remember what I said in the vid. So if I haven't shown it, 
then you're kind of getting a see a sneak peek of it now. Um, and I'll maybe I'll show it again. But anyway, I'm sure I did show it because the camera cut out. The, uh, it said it was out of memory. But I wonder if it's overheated. It said out of memory, so it was out of memory. Um, and it's probably not a bad thing. I had, I've got no idea what happened in that video. Absolutely no idea. I think I was about six cans in. So what's that? Four or five pints. <laughs> See, that was looking better already. Anyway, so that's huge thanks. We make fob for that. Uh, I knew he had a load of like horse racing games. I, I, I think he bought for Crazy again years ago. Like just pachinko crap and stuff. So I, I think he uses them to, to block the sun out on his game. So um, yeah, and it just saved me having to try and hunt one down. But the other thing he, he had, and he showed this on Swap Shop. Now I'm not sure what he's doing showing stuff that I need on Swap Shop before telling me. Uh, I told him I'm not happy about that. He needs to stop doing it, uh, but it is an official GameCube holder bag, like satchel. Um, and the weird thing is, I mean, normally I'll, you know, it's like yeah, but obviously I've got the full GameCube set, and also I've got the other version of this, which is like a long, elongated one. Um, I think it might have like a rigid spine, and I got gifted that from one of the game shops over in Birmingham way um, Game Smart I think he gifted me that years and years ago went over with Tim and stuff like that after one of the revivals well not after but during one of the revivals like the best got um, I can't remember what else was there Tim bad fuck up me I can't remember there's a few of us but anyway that is huge thanks to the man that is fob that doesn't make any video no we're not doing that He's going to make videos, he'll, by the time this video goes up, in about fucking three months time, he'll have made a video. I'm, sure, I'm convinced of it. And that's, like, you know, didn't have to do that, but he did, and I do appreciate it. Right, um, another, another freebie, we'll do have this freebie. So as I mentioned, there are some um, odds and sods. That I was going to wade into CEX um, from the car boom. And I had the Monday and Tuesday off because obviously the weather was so, so nice. On the, on the Thursday or the Friday, I sort of said to my boss, look, got a holiday I need to use anyway. Weather's going to be nice. Can I text you? Then he's like, yes, Sam. So it was on a Tuesday. I left it to the Tuesday just in case, just to give the, the, the charity shop some time to sort out maybe some stuff out the week. There was nothing. There was nothing, nothing there. But it, it's quieter, so could get up there, trade the stuff in, got some credit. But outside, on Tuesday, it must be like bin day. They had this in the bin. Now, obviously, I just didn't want to go ripping into their bin. So, obviously, I know the manager there. So, I went in and sort of said, look, can I take this out of the bin when I'm done here? He said, yeah, fine. <sighs> so, that's he did the piss about for that long. And I sort of said to him, like, so we're all done. He said, yeah. I said, he emailed me the voucher. I said, cheers, mate. So, I'll grab that PlayStation out of the bin. I said, don't worry. I said, I'll leave it tidy. And he was a little, I could tell then, even then he was a bit like, uh, he was not going to come out. And I said, I'll leave it tidy. And when I said, what's the date, he was fine. As I got out there, the fucking, the bags had gone. I was like, oh no. So I said to him, look, look around the corner, I said, they've gone. He went, no, they're behind you. And literally turned around and the, the fucking recycle, it's not a, a truck, it's just like a lorry. And this was just laying on the tailgate. And I just said to the guy, oh, mate, can you pass us that box? And he did very kindly. I don't know why they took it away, but it's a, it's a lovely PlayStation value pack box the only thing it's missing it's got no ins in it so i'm guessing they would have sold this as unboxed so to save space they've just thrown it out so i'm like i'm having that and it's honestly it's in great condition i don't even look at it actually but i know there's no in it so I did. but what the table has got it has got the the little poly bag but yeah there's no there's no in the tray but this box is, is fantastic so, and I'm sure I've got a couple of boxes in the garage, or maybe one, I can't remember. But I'm probably in way worse condition than this, and all the inners will be the same, they'll all be interchangeable. So uh, that will make 
a really nice example. I mean, there's no tears, there's nothing. It's just, you know, it's a legit piece. As I said, so, you know, fucking honest copy that is for free. Free? Free demo disc, I'm sure I've got the demo. I just need to work out. Um, yeah, because you'll have to, may have to have the matching number. I'm not overly fussed if it's not the matching number, as long as it's like the right type. But obviously, I don't think the value pack was, uh, well, it clearly wasn't a. Uh, <sighs> Mate, this is the first drink, so I can't even use that excuse. The bloody. Stereo. Oh, for fuck's sake, still. Posh the better version with the better audio. The audio out. Hey. Fuck that off. It's going to look stupid again. Um, more. 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 Uh, more combiner wars. More finishing off games. Uh, patience is a virtue. Uh, I'm not a very patient person. But this has paid off. So I'm kind of going to stick. Stick to my guns um, with these with these um, SNES titles. Because this is off eBay, so I thought I'll show you this now and I can put this away. I, I, I like these cases, but I hate these cases at the same time. I don't know what it is with the fucking things. I can never get that clip out. So, the guy, I've been looking for this for ages. There was, there was one on there, and I missed it. I don't know if that's not fucking out of it. Um, you've seen this game before, so I'm not. I think I put footage up. I did put footage up um, when I got the cartridge, but um, it was. It's one of the. the, the it's, it's the dragon. Right? It's the dragon. So you've seen all. You've seen that before. Now, when I got that sort of their empty box job lot, there was one on there. There was a, a, a manual because I'm just missing the manual, and I think the people wanted like twelve quid. They would not budge. What are they called? Trotters Independent tr It's not that. I don't know if they still exist. I don't know. But anyone who's like tried to buy retro gaming, you've probably come across them. The prices are quite high, and they it says best offer, but they don't even give you like a fucking penny off. Um, and all I wanted was a manual. Anyway, this come up manual and um, cart. I sort of just tried a cheeky to ask the question because you never know. You know, and it is a ball like when people go, but well, you split it. But um, it was during the weekend, like when they do the office. So I figured someone's probably more inclined to go, yeah, it's fine because they, they can still relist the other thing and still take advantage of the eBay, like pound listing or whatever you call it. Um, but he said no. I think it actually might have been on bids. I think it might have been on bids, and he said, and it was at uh, a tenner. And a couple of quid postage. It was. It was a tenner and a couple of quid postage. Um, and he sort of said, well, you can always make me an offer. And I think I rounded up to 15 quid and he accepted it. So, you know, I could probably sell that for a tenner. Maybe this bit ends up being a fiver. So, anyway, long story short is we've now got a, quite a nice copy. And I'm going to obviously work out which is the best car of the Dragon. But uh, I'll see to work out. Let's see if this one's got any yellowing on it. Yeah, it has. Yeah. So the one I actually got is a better, the better one anyway. So it worked out all right. So that's now a, a really quite a nice copy of the dragon. Now, when you put a manual in these, it gives them, I don't know, some some, sub, some substance. And there's nothing better than that feeling. Having a bit of, you know, some substance between your fingers and your hand, you know. Not that I fucking know about it. This is the only time I get to feel any substance through my, my fingers. Um, but yeah, like I say, a really nice copy of the Dragon now. Or Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Um, and the loose car. Move that on, I can find home for that, I'm sure. 
sure we'll find home for that. Uh, and I've got a couple of other non sned I thought I'd show that first because it's not really, it's more peripheral addition. this one um, took me a while to find the missing component of this and I, I mentioned that I picked up two of these I think I said two but I did show you the other one um, God knows when it was it was months and months back there it is because I bought these from either Galaxy Sega or Retro Realm and the Mega Drive it's a Mega Drive game or they are Mega Drive games and uh, the one that I showed you which is Blood Omen which is um, devilish on the game game view a bit like a cross between Pinball and, and um, Ar Arkanoid and I don't know if you recall I told you about the cartridge and someone had hacked, hacked the cartridges up uh, obviously I managed to sort of uh, repurpose uh, a previous cart for that the problem with this next one is because it's a different cartridge and again I probably might be going over grand because I can't remember what I said um, and I didn't really, really realise this until I was looking for the replacement for this uh, so Taito cartridges are different they're, 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 they're um, physically different the moulding's different on the cases so it's like bollocks I've got to find a donor uh, Taito car I think I did ask this question didn't I I can't remember been looking on eBay for the longest time they're just trying to get one really dirt cheap like chewed up fucking label doesn't really matter I was getting nowhere fast there was one that kept recirculating recirculate recirculating um, and I it must it's got it's been a couple of months in it so I've, I think all in all this cost me 15 quid which sounds quite a lot but when you when I show you the game that it's pieced together, um, I thought that ah yeah I'll be final with this. It'll be it'll be, it'll be a doddle. Um, it turns out actually these labels aren't as hardy as I thought, um, and some people are going to be like, "Fucking hell, Stu, you destroyed that game to make this game." Um, but this was the cheapest one, you know. I wanted like a, a shit, a shitty Rastan two car or something like that, but they weren't. It won't happen. So I have had to buy a, a, a Darius, Darius two. I think it's Darius two. Did the exact same thing as I did to actually remove. I showed the one that I've, I've fixed, if you like, or I've, I've um, brought back to life. I did exactly what I did with Blood Omen in terms of like the one, the donor cartridge and that one labels peeled this one here it just it crumbled it it just come to pieces I don't know if if it's it, well, it can't be the, it, the the sort of label because that's a title one and the one that I got come, it, it just went brittle like it just started just crumbling <clears throat> so I was like ah oh, so I wouldn't mind is keeping that and then putting it on like a normal Genesis but when it started to rip it, it was just like I just need to get it off so anyway, long story short, the game that I'd sacrifice that for, and it'll make sense, is um, Mystical Fighter. Yeah, so it, it was. It ended up being worth it. Ended up being worth it in the end. And to the beaut. So obviously this was that cartridge I'll show you. So the, the, the Taito ones, they're all smooth. So... For them that might not know, I'm sure this has got ridges. Yeah. I, I wasn't aware there is a difference. Can you see? Ridged. Ridged for her pleasure and yours. Or not ridged. So. Yeah. You know, a little bit. I mean, that, that was peeling up anyway, so I've had to use the old prick the stick on that to bring that back down, but. Actually managed to line that one up better than I did Blood Omen, but that's yeah. So 
all in all, I think I did all right out of them two. <laughs> I can't remember what I paid. Was it 100 quid? Was it 100 quid for this in Blood Omen? It's 115 pound, and I've got two decent, well, two really nice copies now. Um, but it took me took me a while just to get that that that, <laughs> that donor cart. An absolute bastard. So I made up with them. Um, poor old Darius. Yeah, it's. Um, he didn't survive. Ah, get this in. Ah. See, I don't know why I'm doing this because it's all going to fucking come out anyway. I might as well just fucking chuck it all in a bastard box. Uh, we'll keep that. I don't know. Send it to someone. It works. It's a great game. I think you'll say it now. How the fuck do you know it works, dude? And how do you even know it's a good game? No, the guy told me on eBay that it works. Um, but yeah, Mystical Fighter. A very obscure, I say very, it's not very obscure at all, because it's on the Genesis, it's on the Genesis as Mystical Fire. Um, but only come out on the Genesis and uh, Japanese Mega Drive. Scrolling, side scrolling, beat them. Beat them up, apparently. Never played it. One day, one day, Rodders, we'll have a fucking game room that isn't 100 fucking degrees Fahrenheit. And we can actually see what we're doing for what. God, it would be a great day. I'll probably just give up then and just sell everything. Get a game room and do a retro day and just sell all the game stuff and just put fucking pinball in there on arcade machines. No Alex. Fucking Alex. He'd love that. He's probably messaging me now um, telling me what arcade machines are for sale. No. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Um, so a couple of, like I say, the, the majority of the rest is, is the Super Nintendo. But I have got two PlayStation games. Um, too many arms to Local games shop to me, always go in there, chat the lads, I think I've discussed this before, chat the lads, talk about football and stuff like that. And I've had some nice bits out of there, I've got Sunset Riders out of there and um, some of the really nice games. I don't know. I did say to them, well, what's this game? Because half the label's obscured, like the end, they're all end labelled. And, um, so is, is it a football game? Because <laughs> obviously the Euros are on. He's like, oh, I don't know. So he dug it out, it's, it's, no, actually, he Googled it. He said, nah, it's like a Disney game. And when, just, anyway, you can only see the end label. And I thought it was one of them bloody prison ones, you know, like the fake. Lion King and stuff like that, but he sort of said what it was. I said, oh, Let's have a look, and uh, I don't think I've got it anyway. But I thought, you know what, for a, it is a fiver, and it's all complete in quite a nice condition. Got a couple of Game Station pre owned stickers on it, which I don't mind. And it's Golden Glory, the road to El Dorado. So all I could see was that, you see. So I thought, when it said Golden Glory, the road to, to say, like the World Cup or something, or the Euros. Um, but it wasn't, it's it's that game. So it is a Disney game. But it looks quite a half decent 3D action platformer. Um, it's a fiver. A fiver. It's like a diver. As they say in my own town of Coventry. But yeah, I can, I can get that off, you know. That one, uh, maybe not so much, but that, that other one, not a problem. Uh, Alice P, Light and Shadow, they're the ones that did the. Um, what you call it? The Metal Slug copies, rip-offs. But uh, looking online, I don't think five was a bad price. Some people, they're asking, they're asking daft, they always ask daft, they don't know, let's be honest. But, um, that main's getting louder now, isn't it? Can't fucking win, this is, this is the pro this is the fucking perennial problem that I have. It's either too fucking hot, and you can't do anything, and you can't see anything, or it's too dark, it's too cold, or it, it just makes a fucking racket. The only good thing ever 
ever to come out of this conservatory is the natural light. Fuck knows what I'm going to do when I go into the other, if and when it gets built. I've come up with a new name. I have got an idea of a name. It won't mean much to anybody other than me really, but fuck is, it's my fucking room. Uh, I'll turn it up a bit. That, it'll probably be too loud. Right, so off of the CEX credit, CEX credit that we, that, we, uh, that we got, I took a punt on this because I looked at it again, uh, like I've told you before, with the C, it's a PlayStation 1 game, with the CEX, um, not with C, well, yeah, with CEX, on the PlayStation 1 stuff, anything that I don't recognise, I always have a quick quick gander at, because I don't recognise it fully enough. And this one was a bit like, I was like fucking hell. That actually, what they're selling it for isn't, isn't too bad a price, given that I'm paying vouchers. Um, it needs a new case. It needs a new insert. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to keep it. I've cleaned up a little bit. It was covered in fucking stickers. And by all accounts, it's like an on-rail shooter, a bit like um, the Namco shooter. That's on Mega CD and PlayStation 1. Start something. But this, the, the font's really weird, but it's called Space Debris. Now those eagle eye will go, it looks a bit fucking sun faced, Space Debris. It looks a bit sun faced, it is fucking sun faded to do. That's what it should look like. It needs a new case, the case is shot. Uh, and it looks like it had some stamped over it. I think it said withdrawn. What that means. Uh, but essentially, it does look. Where do you see it? Bit of a linear on rail shooter. Uh, there is a controller, apparently, like a motion controller thing for it. You can get like a third party games to thing. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Does it say if it's... <sighs> yeah. So it says here, like, um, linear and free roaming action combines to create a mul multitude of game paths. Engage in colossal alien of the ships that will literally fill your TV screen. So that story sequence place you at the centre of the epic space drama. Six attack craft to choose from. Ten massive levels. So, I think it was... I think it's 12 quid, see two, two squid postage, so, yeah, I might just keep an eye out for a new one, sometimes if anyone's got an insert for that, I don't know, someone might have just random empty boxes or bits or whatever, I only need the insert, the case I can swap over, um, I don't know what happened to the case, it looks like, I think what's happened is in the past, the, uh, the spindle snapped and someone's glued it in, so it's a little bit like, Fucked, essentially. We could probably put it on. Should we put this on? Let's put it on. Because I'll wipe out three <laughs> That's a great buy that was. Fucking made up with that. <laughs> 18 quid for a fucking 60 pound game. I'm in! Let's see if it fucking works. Actually, if it don't work, it's going to go back. And they didn't send me a bloody in uh, the invoice with it either. Still, that's like it's booting. It's booting. Hopefully it's working. Right, so the next lot is not all CX. We'll do with the eBay. What should, because some, some are better than others and some come from different places. Um, 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 um. And I need some more box protectors. And I'm not buying these box protectors again because these are Pissing me right off. That's really loud, then. 
Almost. Not so low. Right. Tell you what, we'll do. We'll do the the eBay, and then we'll do the CX. I could do my little CX intro that I haven't used for God knows how long. It's nice to see people do CX roulette. Ugh. Imitation is the best form of flattery. Someone else been imitating me. Oh, Bill. <clears throat> Billy Big Bollocks. <clears throat> Billy Big Balls. You probably know what that means by now. That's really loud again now. Uh. Yeah, I own, don't know if you're aware of that, but I own the copyright to CX Roulette. And the term roll the dice with CEX or take a gamble. <clears throat> That's all me. Joking, joking. Okay, Start putting claims on people's videos. Joking. Do you see that? Oh, made the jump there. Right, anyway, so all Super Nintendo. Pow. So if you don't like Super Nintendo, might be a good time to fuck off. Some absolute belters in here. Some absolute belters, I must admit. Some of that to do a bit of work, a bit of jiggery pokery. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so these were bought from um, from eBay. Again, look, this is not rocket science, guys. I'm not teaching granny to eggs or anything like that. Generally, with CEX, the, the, the rule is you don't you don't pay with, with cash, right? And I would 99.9% .9 of the time sort of say, yeah, 100% agree, yeah. But there are omissions to that because some of the stuff that they sell, especially with the SNES stuff, I don't know what's going on. Um, but it's a good deal, even if you're paying cash. A lot of times, if the thing comes through, it's fault, you send it back, and that's happened to me, right? There's been loads of games I sent back, I ain't going to show you one. But the ones that I've got here that I've kept, um, for what I've paid and what I think they're worth, I think this has been a good deal. Um, but case in point, when I look at what I would pay at CEX and what I can get stuff from eBay, and eBay is like the same or cheaper, and you can sort of see what you're getting, then it's a no-brainer. You know, you've got to weigh it up a little bit. You've got to be like, you know, be fucking intelligent with it. I don't know how I managed to do it then. So, the first one, um, I'm, I'm probably, trust me, these are all complete, so I'm probably not going to show you everything, because there's no point. Um, I'll take them out of these first, as we go along. So first up is Pitfall, the mine, I hope I ain't got any of these, I don't, I've got to get behind there, that's, you know, I can, need to sort out what I've got and what I ain't got. Pitfall the Minor Venture. Again, I don't think I managed to show these in the last vid. I think the camera cut out. It is complete. It's lovely. Um, honest. Where, you know, this is not box porn or anything like that. These are, like, just honest, legit copies. A few have had, like, the little... Um, I thought you call them. End crops. Tags. Locking looking tabs um, so again what I tend to do is just put a bit of wood glue on there push them together squeeze them together so they're nice and rigid so they lock in place better um, this one I bought it was box and cart I already had the manual and um, yeah for what I paid for this was, was cheap but I think uh, CEX is like 60 70 quid boxed this was like 40 I think with the, the cartridge so I've already got the cartridge so I've got a loose cart just to, to punt on and maybe get some money back and that's Prodius the worst of that was these have all had an iron so quite nicely squared off again look they're not going to win any beauty pageants they're not they're not minters they're not you know and that's Christ I ain't got that deep of pockets you know, some people sort of say, what are you buying Nintendo Cardboard for? But, I don't know, I, I just think, I, I don't know if the prices have come down, I don't know. Well, maybe my, my my pockets have got slightly deeper, which I don't really know. But it's more, it might be because I'm more selective. 
So I'm buying. It, it's it's less, but of, of of refined items, if that makes sense. Yeah, so that was like forty five quid. I could have bought like four ten pound PlayStation One games. You, you get what I mean? So I'm not doing that anymore. Um, but I had the manual for that already. So that kind of worked out. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it don't. Now the rest of these are all from uh, CX. Uh, I can't, I don't think I had any credit. Did I have any credit for this top one? This one is the, the, the latest one to come in, the latest one to enter the collection. I uh, don't, didn't even have this loose cart. A couple of these I have got loose carts for. No, actually not many. One, two, only two. So I'm lying. It was them ones there. I've got. I think I've got Pitfall loose cart and Prodigy loose cart as well. This one I'm pretty sure I didn't even have loose cart. As in, like I have no copy. I have no physical copy of it. Um, I can't remember if I've paid any vouchers towards this or not. I think I might have done. This is Halo Taker. I am under attack from Paris. Uh, I read you, Halo. I'm coming in. Oh, I'm too loud. 30, 30 quid, 35 quid, I can't remember, something around there for what is, once I've ironed it, it's probably a really, really nice copy. Um, I don't know, a good 6, 7, maybe pushing an 8 out of 10. It's the Doom, it's the Doom, it's the mighty Doom. So it's just lost a bit of his form, there's like a little bit of a, a sump there, but I said there's nothing, it's all complete, it's all complete in there, so, and <laughs> yeah, I think probably the worst bit is that end there, the opening tab, so, oh, like you can sort of see there, see how it's convexed, concave or whatever, but I think with an iron, get that sorted out, so I'll leave it on top there, because that needs an iron with that one. Ocean game as well. A couple of these I bought from the same. I think they come from the same shop. <clears throat> Some of them have just like lobbed a load in. Um, this one is probably the best condition one. I mentioned this to Rob because I've got. Did I have the instructions for this? I've definitely got the loose car. And Rob said, oh yeah, funny. Because that's probably the best condition box I've got of that as well. And I don't know if it's because it's a, it was a late release. Um, 1993? No, probably not. But it is... Oh, actually, take it out. So at least you can see it. Yeah, I'm not buying these um, box protectors. I'm going to get some brown ones. Uh, I don't think I own this. I don't... Did I own it? I think it needed it. It's Pop and Twimby. I did or not now. But it's a really, really nice copy. I think it had a sticker. I think that was the only thing it had. A bit of wild. Um, but again, complete, all in there. Uh, Rainbow Ball Adventures, that's more expensive than this one. I've got that loose card, but not boxed. Next up to the Oku. This one needs some work. I'll show you the work I have to do on this. It's not perfect. It's not pretty. Um, but it did come with a manual. But I think the manual that I had, I had a man, I've got the loose cartridge as well. The manual I had was a lot better. And it's uh, the Super Pro Protector Alien Rebels. Again, it's not completely smashed up. It's, but this needed a bit of uh, remedial work. And it's usually the way, you know, the half decent ones you can sort of see there, look. But with the iron, it's kind of like, it, it has smoothed it out, but you can sort of still, you're not going to get rid of the creases. You're never going to get rid of the creases. But, the thing with this one, and I will show you. That's 
that's my manual. I mean, the other manual weren't too bad. You know, it's all there. But, but, what was fucked on this, and what is, is this corner here. That's a locking end, so that's the... So you're not going to be able to open that, right? Never, other than that. But it was, and is, missing the tab. But I've kind of, like, Frankenstein one on. But it locks in, and it, it's probably better than the... Well, probably not better than the original, because the original would be nice to have about it being fooked, but... It's better than a gaping hole, and it and obviously it gives the box that extra form. Equally, you're not you should never be opening it from that side anyway. So yeah, I, I think you know an honest and for what I paid, it's like thirty quid again. I mean the cartridge is like twenty fifteen. 20 quid maybe so you know if, if I can get my arse into gear um, start selling off the duplicate they, they probably cost me a lot a lot less money but it's just being arsed isn't it you know if, if, the, the, if the shows well, the markets are back on the yeah, ideal but again at this point at this point in time, the 18th of June, 18th of June, you have our law 2021. I don't know where we are in the future. Future Stu Towers, <laughs> are we still locked down? <laughs> Another thought, because at this point we were meant to open up Monday, 21st, was it? And we're not. So he's, he's extended that. I'm just waiting for another. Another variant, spin it out. And all those people that fucking call me Tin At. Tin At 2E and stuff like that. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. Right, moving on. Moving swiftly on. We'll do this one. It's um, <laughs> one of the weirdest things. Again, I've not been exhaustedly checking at CEX by any stretch of imagination. This come with the same one as Pop and Twimby and I think another one of these other games here. I can't remember which one. It was three. All come from the same place. Um, and when I sort of checked, when this came in, check, check eBay just to sort of see, look, is it a good deal? Is it right? And there weren't any of these. And I don't think there's any it sold. I can't remember if there were one. If there was one on there, it was like asking ridiculous money. So I thought, yeah, let's have a punt. And it come through again. This I think this only had a sticker on it. Didn't need any additional stuff. I don't think I even ironed it. Did I iron this one? I can't remember. I think I did iron it. I think I did. Um, yeah, it did. It had a. It definitely had a sticker on it. That was all that was really wrong with this, and it's the crash, the incredible crash test dummies. Not a cartoon I actually ever got into. It kind of um, was just the wrong wrong sign in terms of age, years. Fucking hell, I can't read that. <laughs> um, jeez, Louise. It's an acclaimed game, but, Al but done by LGN. So at least it's not an LGN shit show. I can't, I can't, fuck it, I can't see straight anyway, let alone see a fucking year. Um, but this is, again, it's completed in, like I say, really nice condition. 20, 25 quid, something like that. I don't think I've even got the loose cart for this one. But these bloody box protectors are shite. Sure, that's that an NES type as well. I think so. I think so. We've got three SNES games left. Then we've got something else to show. We have got some out. Telling fibs. Could be the last video. 
again as I alluded to a couple of bits back due to have a knee operation so with the whole room all the work and the house being done I need to be really careful because otherwise I'm going to be incapacitated the stuff's going to need to get moved so I might need to preempt stuff start boxing stuff and put it away somewhere god knows where it's all stressing me out far too much mayday, right mayday. I'm going to do these two together because the last one although it's the worst condition well yeah it's probably the worst condition one it might be the most valuable Again, it took a punt on it. If it didn't come off, it would have just gone back. And it, it, the most expensive. But I'll tell you what, these two here, the loose carts of these are like 10, 15 quid. Box complete, I don't know. Like, man, you could, they might be pushing a quid each. And these are in, in nice condition. They're all, again, all these are complete. I, I'll tell you, you know, if they weren't. So, I don't know which one came first. I would want to say. Again, here's Stu trying to look for a fucking date. 1993. Both 93. Um, uh, I'll do this one first because this is the one I kind of wouldn't say remember, but I do know of. The other one I didn't even know was a thing. So it is. Mario is missing. I think these are edutainment type games, you know, like Wearing Times uh, Come San Diego and stuff like that. I think it's Nintendo's response to those kind of games. Uh, obviously, most people know this on the NES. So, so um, again, if this has come out in the SNES, I, I think Mario is missing on the, the NES. is one of the, the latter titles. Again, this is complete. Those that collect SNES, especially box stuff this is kind of like the SNES is off obviously SNES isn't new to me but collecting the game or buying the games and buying them in in box condition because you know the gradient of quality of the old Nintendo cardboard compared to you know your, your sort of your Mega Drive ones where it's like as it got the box and the manual because if it's got the insert nine times out of ten all you're worrying about is a bit scuffy or a bit of scuff there Whereas there's so many variants to work with with the, with the old Nintendo car one. I'm, I'm guessing for the real hardcore motherfuckers, it's like, ah, yeah, well, ah, your locking tab is, is slightly warped and that knocks £10 off. You get, and that's all new to me. I don't really, I can't gauge it that way. I'm not, I'm not that deep into it to sort of there uh, to sort of say, well, there, yeah, that, that copy of Mario is missing is because because there's a slight edge wear there, and because you've got the Mindscape sticker on the back over the barcode, that, that devalues it by 20 quid. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is for what I pay for these from CEX is and what boxed, okay, nice, 7 out of 10 condition ish, I'd still say. Bargain. And so, to match with Mario's missing, we've got Mario's time machine. <clears throat> and again, box complete. And again, it's not, you know, it's not fucking minty, minty, minto. But it's honest. It's legit. It's not fake. And that's what we want. And it's all complete. I'm sure there's people out there that probably don't watch this <laughs> which doesn't help my cause but I'm, I'm sure there are people out there that would, would know what these are worth it's just a shame you don't watch <laughs> um, and there's the last one right the last one most expensive. I remember this was 60 quid and I thought, oh god, what am I doing buying this for 60 quid? Stu, what are you doing? I got totally sucked into it all. <sighs> Sold as boxed, it was boxed. I've had to do some remedial work on it. I think, given its condition, I don't think 60 quid is too bad. The, again, the cartridge is only like 15 pound. Oh, is there a year? I'm going to have to be like fucking Alex and get rid of it. 
once again 993 um, and this this will never get played but it is complete <laughs> God, what's a 45 year old man doing buying these games? You must have something better to do with your life, Stu. So for the <laughs> princely sum, 62 English pounds, we've got Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Box complete! On the Super Nintendo. I can't even say it was nostalgia, it was purely like, that's fucking shit balls rare at 60 quid you need to have a punt on it and if it was crap if it was like wrecked and fucking bits hanging off of it it would have gone back and it wouldn't have cost me anything I will show you this because I did have to fix it um, and again look you know, I don't lie to you guys the manual needed an iron someone obviously really loved this game I'll tell you that much the manual needed an iron it's, it's, it's there it even come with the, um, the precautions And I know Thomas, the tank, it, it, you know, it's, it's fucking massive in terms of like, it, it's a cult following. So the work, well, obviously was all in the box. Um, and you can see there. So what had started to happen is the actual, and it's, this is the opening tab, which is a bit of a kicker. It started to tear. So that is just purely in there just to stop the rot. Yeah, that's the only which is a shame because if that had been the locking tab it would have been even less of a problem but it, it, this was a well loved and well played game I don't know whoever owned it played the fucking hell out of it I'll tell you that much and more, more power to them you know it's just a shame we didn't look out of the box a bit better but I think even in this condition £60 is, is a fucking bargain because from as, as a display piece you never ever ever got another difference you wouldn't you wouldn't fucking know so a bit of a you know I don't tend to buy a game like that if I were if I was at a gaming market and that was for sale as in like for what it's probably worth I would buy it same with the two Mario games if they were at a gaming market these fucking cases and you know they were like for sale for their value I wouldn't buy them I know that sounds a bit odd and it sounds a bit but it, it's just it's them um, deals and it's like that's a good deal and it's not that like these are going to get sold because clearly they're not but it's just one of them weird collector things where everyone wants a bargain you know the, the probe of attack to the parodius the pitfall the pop and twin bee Crash test, crash test them is less so, um, and the Doom and stuff. They're games that I, I would want in the collection. Um, yeah, you know, there's games on CX now that they're, they're the boxed. I don't think I have them boxed. I don't know because I can't remember what I've got there. But they don't really like go. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. I, I really, you know, I'll have a punt on that. Nah. So it's not a collect everything box it's not about that it's certain titles or certain titles for the right price you know right I don't know what we're gonna do with this I probably need a season two Ding -dong. Kev's balls are fine. that's right we got, got Kev's box again we got it again I can't remember if I did we didn't do it, we did we? Did we do it? We did it. We're back in Kev's box. Season 2. First up to the hockey. I'm sure we've got one of these already. I can't remember now. Arch Rivals. <clears throat> Basketball. Halo. 
Italian. Um, I remember this in the arcades, Arch Rivals. Two on two basketball, a claim. You know, you could always, oh, back in the day, a claim. Lovely stuff. Um, Mega Drive release as well, I've got. I think I might even have a gameplay video of the Mega Drive version. I don't, I don't think I've ever played. This is a, based on the arcade smash. I don't think I've ever played um, the NES version. But yeah, it looks like an um, Italian. We'll do one more. One more out of Kev's. I don't know what I'm going to do with season two. I'll have to come up with some of I'll have to get the old fucking grey matter working. I'm hoping he's in the wrong place in the way now. What have we got there? Oh! <laughs> what is it in the, in the States? Stadium events, isn't it? We've got stadium events! Millionaires! Millionaires 2E. I think this is what it is, isn't it? Stadium event is just Athletic World. I think it's the same, one of the same things. Uh, again, Italian here. 1990. Family family Fun Fitness here is a little pad thing for this, isn't there? I'll put some shies up there. Nice end label. In good nick. Always are with Kev. Other than when he forgets to clean them. Uh, but yeah. There we go. Nintendo heavy. Nintendo heavy. For sure. I think that will do that. Guys and girls. Take it easy. We'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.